make sure to subscribe and of course ring that bell turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next video Hey Crook Crew, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, we are going to be checking out 10 things that you might have missed here in Adopt Me. So the first thing that we are going to be checking out is over in the schoolhouse. So this is a hidden room, you guys. I actually have not shown this on my channel yet. So this is actually, we're going to pull out Hot Dog, our parrot and a stroller and you guys if you go over behind the orange sofa drop your pet from the stroller and ride or fly that pet you guys will be over in the hidden room so you definitely can use this with another player as well if you don't have like a ride or fly pet you guys can definitely have one of your friends just push you through and you guys will be over in the super secret hidden room so the second location here in Adopt Me, you guys, is I think one of my all-time top favorite hidden locations here in Adopt Me. So over inside the ice cream shop, once again, you guys, we are going to be pulling out our stroller along with a pet. So you can definitely do this with a friend as well if you don't actually have like a pet that has ride or fly. So you're just going to want to push the stroller through a wall of ice cream and you guys will actually be on the other side now nobody is going to be able to see you when you get to the other side of the ice cream but you're actually going to be able to check out what everybody is doing inside and you can even fly to the top of the ice cream parlor look down and you guys can see what everybody is up to which penguins they are getting and you can even go down inside that big giant swirl of ice cream so other than just having a really beautiful place to check out you guys can also snoop on your friends okay so third on the list yes you guys is one more hidden location now this i believe might actually be one of the most popular places in adopt me to kind of go snooping in so you can use the trick with the stroller or just picking up your pets dropping them over or like having a friend help you but i just kind of like to use the grapple you guys to be honest um, you just kind of hook it onto the yellow barn here and it will actually port you over to the other side of the nursery snow globe. So of course, once you get to this side, you guys will be able to climb around on top of what I call the snow globe and kind of just like snoop on your friends. This one unfortunately will not hide you. So anybody that is in the nursery will literally just see you climbing over top of them and it's just a really fun place to hang out and maybe do some role play so next on the list you guys is actually a way to save you a little bit of money so you guys know if we come over to the camping ground that you actually can go inside the lodge to have like a little bit of a vip um situation going on but if you wanted to save your money i believe it's about 100 adopt me dollars just to go in and of course once you guys walk out your $100 is gone so what you're gonna do is the same trick that we have done before either set your pet down ride it fly it or even push it through with a stroller and then you guys will be inside and you can use like all of the sleeping bags with yourself and your pet or your kids if you do have like your children that you have brought in and of course you can have some s'mores and some marshmallows and you can definitely just hang out in here you guys and live that vip life completely for free saving your adopt me dollars okay you guys so number five on the list is another way to kind of save you time and money and speed up how you are able to travel around adopt me now you guys know we did get the game pass for the magical teleportion teleporting door but you guys we actually don't even need to use that so one trick that i like to do is just go into your book bag you can teleport easily to the nursery the gift section the vehicles or anywhere in adopt me just kind of saving your time 
Now, number six on the list is definitely one that I don't hear a lot of people talk about too often. So if you are just trying to like earn a bunch of money or age up your pets, if you actually go over into the hospital in the first room, you guys will see the golden healing apple. So definitely make sure when you are coming on. Now, once you like leave the game and come back on, they will disappear. But just like the apple at the school, you guys just go over and completely fill up your book bag with these because once your pet actually does need to go to the hospital, anywhere that you are in adopting you guys will be able to do this and it's just kind of one less stop that you are going to need to do in adopt me once again saving you some time so you can see that our pet does need to go to the hospital but all we need to do is actually feed our pet or our baby one of the healing apples and that need will be complete so number seven on the list, you guys, might be a little bit more of like a noob, maybe you didn't know, but over in the rare stuff, you can actually make your very own potions and you even can make your own age up. Like if you wanna make your character maybe into a baby or if you are a baby and you wanna go to adult, you guys can place them in your home as well. But we're actually gonna be testing out the brewing station and this will give us completely free big head potions. So this is just kind of a really fun way to use these to do some trades and it will save you money because you're not going to need to go to the sky castle to purchase the potions every single time and there's also a couple other types of potions and as long as you delete the cauldron right away you will actually get your full 100 percent money returned number eight on the list we actually just recently got this really adorable little pet addition to the playground now with that you guys we did get this adorable tree house that is a little bit hard to get to now we can't actually climb up the tree so i have seen a lot of people wondering exactly how to get on top of that now of course the easy way if you have a fly pet all you're gonna need to do is just fly your way up there but i know not everybody unfortunately does have a fly pet here in adopt me so you can get up there with the trampolines just takes a little bit of work but one of the funnest ways that i like to get up here is using one of my grapples once you're up here you guys can hang out and make it your very own little tree house clubhouse with your friends Number nine is probably the funnest, easiest, and most question that I do get asked. You guys know whenever we have a new holiday to celebrate, I kind of change the color of my backpack according to that. So all you're gonna wanna do is click on your settings and change your favorite color. And you guys will see that it changes everything about your backpack from the little icon on the front to when you do your trades. And it's just a really fun way to give your Adopt Me a makeover. And number 10, last on the list, actually I haven't seen a lot of people know about this one either, but when you are just trying to age up your pets, there's a really easy way to save you having to go over to the playground when your child or your pet gets bored. So as long as you have the piano in your home, you guys can see the board need is actually going up super easy so I just always make sure to have a piano in my home because if you are trying to save time and age up multiple pets this is just a really easy way to save you time all right cutter crew well that is everything for the 10 things you might have missed here in adopt me if this is a type of video you guys would like to see me attempt to do again here on my channel make sure to give today's video a very very big thumbs up it always lets me know you guys did enjoy and of course make sure to subscribe turn those notifications on and hopefully I'm gonna see you all next time bye guys